Okay. It is now two o'clock in the afternoon. We have got piranha fishing today in the Amazon jungle at 3.30. First up, we're gonna get some food. Now, <laughs> food in the area. It's not quite as uh, catered towards Westerners as other places we've been to so far in Peru. We're gonna go, to be honest, I can smell nice food right now. Can you? Like barbecue smells like, it smells well nice. Mm, it smells well nice, I don't know what that is. Anyway, we're gonna go and find some food, see if we can find a nice restaurant. Some of you got, oh, here we go, here's the barbecue food. Hola. Oh. I think they've got, uh, I think they've got the heart there. Oh. I'm so scared of eating street food now. I've already had food poisoning once this week. <laughs> oh god. Um, yeah, pretty not a good idea. Uh, that smell, man, it smells so good though. If you've got the balls to try it, that was a good spot back there. That, that smells so nice. Right, so we've got an hour and a half. We're gonna find some nice cuisine. Fuel up, because Notoriously, I'm not very good at fishing, but I do. <laughs> I want to see a piranha at least. Like, they can't be that hard to catch. They're so ravenous all the time. Should be easy to catch a piranha. I'm not putting my hand in the water. <laughs> no way. Um, yes. Yes. Hopefully, we can catch some piranhas. That'll be sick. And I don't know what other sort of wildlife net we'll see. It's, uh, I'm very excited actually, I don't know if you can tell, but it's, this, this is going to be sick. In the Amazon jungle, like, I've wanted to go there ever since I was a kid. Ever since I was young, you know, the big mysterious Amazon jungle full of wildlife and all sorts of shit you've never seen before. It's going to be sick. Uh, yeah, right, let's go get some food. Oh no, Pizzeria Il Bambino is closed. And, uh... Hamburgo is also closed. Hmm. Maybe I'll have a look down here instead. What do we have here? Oh, this one looks good and the food smells nice as well. I'm so hungry. Ah, uh, a roast beef sandwich and a shredded chicken sandwich. Sounds bloody perfect. Nice little fuel up before we out, head out on the boat. We'll, I think we'll be out there for about three hours. Meet at half three and we get back at about half six. So we're going to be out there in the blazing sun for three hours. I've got a hat. What about you, Nat? Mm. Got this. Put it on then. No. Bloody hell, look at these. Homemade bread and everything. What's the place called? La Simila. Oh yeah, look. La Simila. Look, Nat's got the falafel um, sandwich. Mmm, huge. Well, good. I'm very impressed. These are only 16 soles each. 14, 16 soles. It's good. It's, it's more like it. La Simila. That was a good spot. On to the fishing. 15 minute bus ride. Oh, it says bus. It's more like a limousine. Look at this. Welcome. Oh, he's got a puncture, man. The guy's got a puncture. Oh, bro, you got a puncture. Oh, shit. Oh. Yeah. 
luckily here. No, I'm in the middle of the way. Yeah, yeah. The Brazil nut fruits are that size. Brazil nut fruits are that size? Yes. It's on the top. It's, it's a Brazil nut tree there, the big one. It's bigger than coconut. The fruit is bigger than coconut. I said, oh, yeah. well, the most dangerous fruit on earth. Oh, it falls, oh. knock you out. That tall, man. Yeah, it's yeah. Really high. It's much your hand. Brazil nut. Brazil nut tree in Peru. It's a Peru nut. Apparently one Brazil nut per day decreases your chance of prostate cancer if you're a guy, so go and get yourself some of them, boys. Oh, are these our fishing rods? Yeah. Are these our fishing rods? Sorry? These are our rods? Yes. Bloody hell. This is the... Look at that. Dick. Bush rods. Spring. Spring, yeah, it's a spring. A stream. No. I don't know, maybe. No, it's How do you know it's not a creek? Because the creek is bigger. Last group of tourists. It's around 1,000 euros this way. Between 800 to a thousand euro. There's still a lot of creatures living here. So there's ele electric eels in here? Oh, yeah, man. I can tell you from my own experience. So the biggest killers of local people in this area are the electric eels, and they're in here. They discharge 800 volts of power. Uh, 800 volts of power. Enough to st stop your heartbeat. There's also black caimans in here and anacondas. The other is a stingray. In here? Oh man, yes. Yeah? Wow. Yeah. What the hell? Is it fresh water? Fresh water. Like fresh water stingray? Fresh water stingray. Ah, I never heard of that before. That's cool. Many times deer have been attacked by this nasty fish. But do you know what the fish is called? Yes. What is it called? His, his real name is Orifice Fish. Orifice Fish. Or because it goes through any holes. Goes through any holes. It's the Many one. Many boys and girls being attacked through the anus. Through the anus? Yes, yes, yes. Really? Yeah. Wow. Well, that's why when we watch documentaries, yeah. we laugh. They, they talk only about boys. That's not true. It's a boy, it's both gender stuff. Right. The fish be, doesn't uh, discriminate. Yeah. So, the, <laughs> so those, the orifice fish is, um, the, the, you know, the fish that swims up your pee? That's, it, that's in here as well. And it doesn't just swim up your pee, it swims in your ass, it will go in anywhere. That's probably the most horrific thing in here. Listen to that. Six species of macaw in this area. Six species of macaw? Yeah. We've just been watching the parrots for the last like half an hour. Oh, we haven't even put any rods tail. in the water yet. Uh -huh. It's raining. It's bloody well raining. Okay. Alright, so when we catch it, if I, when I catch one, <laughs> I'm going to, you can't touch it, can't grab the fish, grab the line, pull it in, and then let it go. Yeah? Yeah. All right, oh. easy. If it's stuck, put it back here, I'm gonna release it. I'm gonna take it out. Okay. Not allowed the barb? No. Well, not much. Because it's harder to get it out. Exactly. Yeah. So he's, he's crushing the barb on the hook to make it easier to get out the fish mouth so we haven't got hold of them. Oh, you've Again. <laughs> 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 <laughs>
<laughs> oh shit! Whoa. Oh my uh -huh. god! It's a good review! It's a good review! Hey! That's a sick fish! I'm gonna show you his teeth! Yeah, this is very dangerous fish! Only if you put it in your finger in his mouth! <laughs> you see it? Yeah! Look at that! Oh my god! Daniel, look at his teeth! Yeah, that's sick! Yeah. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Pass down, please. Pass down. <laughs> Listen to that. Sounds of the jungle. I mean, that's bright. Just listen to the sounds of the jungle. That was a good trip. Yeah, agreed. So good. Now I'm literally in awe of this rainforest. We've been to so many, but this is definitely the most alive one that we've ever been to. So much wildlife. So many birds, parrots. Caiman, black caiman came right up to the boat. Woodpecker. Woodpeckers, kingfishers. Fish. Fuck, that was so good. I didn't catch any piranhas, as you saw. But bloody hell, that was good fun. It wasn't all fishing either. It was like looking at the birds and having a look around and just seeing what wildlife's about. It's just such a good thing to do. Our tour guide is really good. Our tour guide is really good. Yeah. Expedition. Yep. Yeah, see? Right. I said we had a good feeling about that guy. Butterfly. Oh, oh wow. Uh, Fashion vine butterfly. Fashion vine. Wow. They're sleeping. <laughs> They're having a nice dream. <laughs> see what I mean? It's just stuff everywhere. He's noticing everything as well, he's really good. Oh, wow. What is it? What's the lizard? In Laoja, in Laoja. In Laoja. This is Anolis. Anolis lizard. Lagartija Anolis. No, no, it's a macho. That's the biggest they get. Awesome. Really? Yeah. Mm. It's, um, oh. Snakes eat them. Yeah. It's spider, a spider as well. 80 solos per person this was. It's good. Good fun. Didn't catch a piranha, but oh well. Tomorrow we're going to a lake a bit deeper into the jungle. Apparently there's giant otters and all sorts there, so yeah, that'll be good fun. We've got same guide as well. Yeah, Mano Expeditions, man. Top marks. This is really good. Anyway. Good night.